Hi, thanks for tuning in for our second of our three-part series of mindful movement for um, mental health wellness. So um, we have a, a recording for uh, depression and this recording is for anxiety. If you tend toward having anxiety, um, this would be a video that I hope you would find benefit in. So our focus for this video is to use breath and movement and a technique called tapping to help bring some peace to your nervous system. Um, so we're going to start with a breathing technique that is uh, called ratio breathing. And the point of this uh, breath for anxiety is to extend your exhale. So you're gonna breathe in and then let that exhale be like almost double the amount of time to let go. And this sends a message to your nervous system that it can relax and let go, that it's safe again. And sometimes when we've had trauma or we have chronic stress, which we have had chronic stress um, for the last 15 months, our nervous system kind of forgets to let go and it's afraid to relax and rest and digest. And so this breathing technique will help help you um, practice on a regular basis, it's very beneficial. So we'll have that breathing technique, but before we do that, just sit wherever you are, feel the support beneath you, whether you're in a chair or on the floor, and just look around you, wherever you are, and just orient yourself to the room or the space. And perhaps you can find something to focus your eyes on, something that brings you pleasure when you look at it. It could be the color or a memory. And just take a moment to focus on that. And then if it feels comfortable for you to close your eyes, I invite you to do that. Or you can keep them open, uh, looking down in front of you, just gazing, soft gaze. And just notice how your body feels. Notice what you might be carrying with you in this moment. Notice the quality of your breathing. Is it shallow and fast? Is it deep and slow? Is it smooth or jagged? And notice what's happening in your heart today. Any predominant emotions or feelings that you're having Often when we start to notice a, an emotion, our mind jumps in and starts to go into all of the reasons and the stories that we're having that emotion. If you can stay with just the sensation of the feeling, try to do that. And then we'll move into our ratio breath. If you wanna have your hands on your lap, that's fine. Or you can bring a hand to your heart and a hand to your belly, which I often enjoy doing, so that I can make sure that I'm filling up that lower part of my body with air as well. And you can breathe in on your own count to a count of about four, just filling up. And then purse your lips as if you're blowing through a straw and slowly blow out. to about a count of eight. Don't worry about the exact number. We're working on just doubling or lengthening the exhale. This can be very helpful for sleeping issues, insomnia, anxiety,
Are you able to be aware of your feet as you're breathing? Are you able to be aware of your hips softening as you breathe? Your shoulders resting, sliding down your back, away from your ears. Let's take one more round. And when you're complete, just let your hands rest on your lap, possibly palms down. So the next thing that is one of my favorite practices is the tapping that I mentioned. Um, sometimes we get in a mind state where we're having a lot of anxious thoughts and we can't get them out of our, our head and our body just, and our breathing just follow. And it's a, like a runaway train. So tapping is a great way to work with the meridians in the body and the psyche and the breath to come back to more of a grounded state. So I'm gonna teach you this tapping technique. There's a ton of information out there on tapping. It's called the tapping technique. There's tons of books, resources on the web. It's been around for a really long time. I use it a lot, especially because I used to have panic attacks and I've gotten them under control with this technique. So I'm excited to share it with you. So the um, tapping technique, you would say, let's say you're feeling anxious and you want to just give yourself more of a positive message, even if you don't believe it yet. So let's say I just want to feel peaceful. I just want to feel I'm safe and I'm peaceful. That's what I want to like plant into my consciousness and my body. <laughs> so you would take your fingertips and you would tap the side of your hand, like where you would do a karate chop. You just tap the side of your hand and just start breathing and just think the words or say them out loud, I'm safe and peaceful. I'm safe and peaceful. And then you don't have to stay there very long. You can do that like two or three times. And then just gently tap the top of your head right in the center, safe and I'm peaceful. I'm safe, I'm peaceful. And then go to the very beginning of your eyebrows, right at this, the center part of the, the beginning of where the eyebrow starts and just tap there gently. I'm safe and peaceful. <sighs> tap the outer edge of your eyebrows or right around the side of your eyes, right at the temple area. I'm safe and peaceful. These can be like little butterfly taps. You don't have to feel like hard or um, aggressive. Then go right under your eye, right this eye socket, go right under the eye, right at the center. I'm safe, I'm peaceful. Then right under the nose, that little divot under the nose, I'm safe and peaceful. I'm safe and peaceful. Then the chin under the bottom lip. I'm safe and peaceful. And then there's these points that we tap in my class here same points, but just pretend you have a bow tie here that'll help you figure out where to go. You can just tap with one hand if you want, or both, where a bow tie would be. I'm safe, I'm peaceful. Safe and peaceful. And then the ribs, which is another tapping uh, place that we work uh, in our yoga classes. I'm safe and peaceful. 
If you are running short on time, often you can do just a few of these points and it will help make a difference. But in general, that is, those are the points. And then you just take a breath when you're done and notice how you feel. It can be helpful to gauge your anxiety before you start. Like if you're like on a one to 10 scale, you're a nine and then do this uh, regimen and then notice where you're at. If you've dropped a couple of points, that's great. You can do it again and again until you get down to a very low number. Um, and just practice with that, work with that. This is a, a more of a, a minimal form of tapping. I find it very effective. Um, the other thing that can get you out of um, a, a panic attack, if it's like in the moment, acute, you need acute support for yourself, is to tap this other place that's um, part of your uh, triple warmer meridian in Chinese medicine. So, right, let me turn down the light a little bit so you can see. So you have your knuckles, pinky knuckle, ring finger knuckle, and then right in between there's this little soft spot right here. So you just tap, so I'm, if I'm just sitting like on a plane, which is the example that I use, you can just tap both sides is is effective so or are effective so you can tap your favorite side or you can tap both and you just calmly breathe you can do the ratio breath breathing in for four and out for about eight and just tap i cannot tell you how many times i have done this technique and now over the years because i stopped that anxiety train from taking over my nervous system now knows that it does, I don't need to do this as often. Even if I just start, my nervous system goes, oh, okay, it's, we're okay. So practice this, see how it works for you. Those are my favorite tapping techniques for anxiety. The other thing that we can do is bring sound just to massage and support our vagus nerve, which is governs our stress response. It's so important to access the vagus nerve, the part of it that knows how to respond to stress, to simplify. So we can combine breath and movement nice and slow by breathing in and just breathing out or whatever feels better. Put Try ocean breath. and then try sound. Ah, with an open mouth, soft jaw. Now try with a hmm. Hmm. If you're humming, you'll find it takes a lot longer to get that hum out which lengthens your exhale. So it's a nice workaround to get your body to start breathing a little slower, help start to access that relaxation response in your body. So those are a few of my favorite techniques along with massaging the jaw. You can open your jaw slightly and just give a little love to the temples and the jaw which often holds so much tension and anxiety. A little jaw massage which I would do probably for a, a couple more, more minutes, but I'll just give you a brief demonstration right now. And then this magical point here in the front of the forehead, if you take your fingertips just above, you, above your eyebrows, it's like in the middle of your forehead, right? Before the hairline, if you have a hairline, right? Right here. And you can just rest your arms on your chest or if you're at a table, it's great to rest your arms on a table and just lean into your hands. You have to notice that when people are feeling a little bit worked up or overwhelmed, you can see they'll just put their hands in their head in their hands. This is because our bodies know that this is what we need. So as you bring your fingertips to your forehead, it helps support the circulation, the blood flow to the prefrontal cortex right here in the front of the brain. It helps get us out of that reptilian brain that's just in survival mode and get us into 
our executive functioning clear thinking mode. So just rest here for a few breaths, soft fingertips on the forehead. As long as you want to be here, And we'll end with one of my favorite things, mantra or affirmations. You can call them affirmations repeated. So we started with tapping in, I am safe, I am peaceful. So I'll stay with that as our example. Um, and you can always feel free to choose anything, any very simple phrase that you can repeat to yourself with your breath. So place your hands wherever feels supportive for you. I'm gonna bring mine to heart and belly again. Once again, feel your feet on the floor. This is important when you're feeling anxious. Find your feet, find your feet, find your breath. And then remind yourself, give your mind something else to do besides ruminate and stress. You wanna give your mind a job, which is to repeat something affirming. You can do this with eyes open or eyes closed. I am safe. I am peaceful. You can try breathing in and thinking I am safe. Breathing out, I am peaceful. Breathing in, I am safe. Breathe out, I am peaceful. I am safe. I am peaceful. I am safe. I am peaceful. And you can practice that as long as you want to or need to. It's your practice, so you can change what you feel like saying, what resonates with you, whatever you need to hear. So sometimes in the beginning, where we kind of checked in with our bodies and our minds, you might ask, like, what do I need to hear right now? What do I need to remember? And then you can use that as your affirmation or your mantra. So this whole practice, I think it was like 15 minutes or so, I wasn't paying super close attention. Um, you can do it just in the order that we did it. You can follow along, or you can pick and choose what activities, what techniques you think would serve you best, depending on where you are and how much time you have. So I hope you found that um, beneficial and maybe picked up something that you can use to support anxiety and tension. And remember that Temple Isaiah is here for you. We are all one community here to support each other. So along with this brief video offering, we have our Open Our Hearts, um, which is a part of Temple Isaiah um, that supports uh, individuals and families with mental illness. And in addition to the clergy, we have lots of resources online and phone numbers, so please don't hesitate to call or reach out to anyone, anyone that you feel is a safe person. If you're struggling and you're just, you just want to do it all on your own, but you know you would benefit from support, don't hesitate. Make the call, make the text, reach out. Um, we're here for you. We're here for each other. Um, and I hope that this, um, when I see you, that I will find you well and, and healthy in body, mind, and spirit. Shalom.